Welcome to the Good Karma Sport Fishing Podcast. I'm your host, Captain Ryan Van Fleet. And welcome to the You Have the Power To Podcast. I'm your host, Melinda Van Fleet. Well, hey, Captain Ryan. Hey, Melinda. How are you? Good. He just showed me his new skirts. I'm very happy with these new skirts. I'm like, I'm building some pretty cool lures here, some weedless lures this weekend. So. <laughs> That's our life. Yep. That's the way I decompress. That's the way he decompresses. I don't watch any TV or much TV. So Just a little wrestling. A little, a little wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> and then once in a while, we have a, a favorite show that we'll watch together. Yeah. But I'm it's excited. actually yeah. few and far between, I'm except ex- for Mandalorian. Yeah, I'm excited for the new season of Outer Banks. <laughs> oh, yeah, Outer Banks. And I'm excited for Shadow and Bone. <laughs> I you still like, like Shadow it. and Bone. Yeah, I like Shadow and Bone. That's a good show. Yeah, that's coming out in March, yeah. too. So, yay! John B, John B. Oh, you're so weird. <laughs> Anyhow, the topic, this actually kind of parlays pretty nicely. We're going to talk about today is support. And, yeah, I support him when he likes to show me his lure skirts and he gets all excited <laughs> yeah i used to just show the dogs because i know that they'll be more excited in some case. <laughs> but what i've found in my journeys and why i think this is really important to talk about as a coach in my coaching journeys and with now with being a certified a high 70 energy practitioner is there are so many couples out there and just people in general who don't feel supported and there's many different ways to look at this but I thought that Ryan and I would talk about this today because also too it's going to be the two year anniversary of my first solo book Confidence Mastery for Couples and um yeah we really he really supported me through that whole process <laughs> and it's just always brings back some memories because that that book is just really um powerful and impactful it's it's a quick read but lots of stories that people can relate to and there's a lot of stories about support in that book so this all just kind of ties together so when Ryan and I lost our jobs in 2009 and he had the dream of being a sport fishing captain and we decided to move to the Keys, you know, that took a lot out of us because we had nothing. We had to start from scratch and the majority of people just still live in the world of being a W-2, like get a job, get a job, get a job. And we both <laughs> had decided to throw in the towel on being W-2s and be entrepreneurs and start businesses at the same time. And honestly, that's a little cuckoo, but yeah, very cuckoo. We, we did it and we survived and we thrived. And my job, let's say, as a, a sales rep, as an independent sales rep, as a 1099, I was able to earn income faster than we were in terms of building Good Karma Sport Fishing. There's just a different dynamic in terms of Ryan getting his hours and going through that whole process, which takes years. And then, you know, starting a business from scratch with nothing and building that up. So in the beginning, I was really supportive of Ryan in that journey. Yes, extremely supportive. Extremely supportive. Yeah. And then once we got that up and running and several things happened to me as a sales rep and I had always had the dream of becoming a a coach. And as I've said before, I said in the Good Karma Sport, Good Karma Success Coach intro, get a little tongue tied, you know, someday when we get our shit together, we will help others. When I realized it was the time to start to transition to my bigger purpose I had to then lean on Ryan for support because here I was walking away from my sales business in order to do to really do my life purpose as a coach, a mentor and a business consultant. So we had like a total shift in dynamics, right? Right. Total, total change in our livelihood. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it, am I going to say it's been an easy road? Hell no, I would be lying. And I don't ever want to do that to the audience out there. There's so much bullshit out there on the internet, uh, coaches making it seem like it's super easy and you can just make millions of dollars like right away. No, it it doesn't work like that at all. And it's just really important to hear from the heart and real, real stories 
from people that have lived it and not just gone from being like someone working in the corporate world to becoming a coach and then calling themselves, you know, a transition mentor. No, you haven't done all the middle things too, like all those middle pieces of building a business before becoming a coach. Because when you're in the corporate world, you're not you're not building anything. You're you're sitting at a desk for the most part. Most people are, unless you were a buyer like me, but still, like I had a corporation behind me. So it's a very different aspect and really calls for different levels of support from friends, family, and in our case, you know, Ryan and I, we had to support each other. Yeah, we had to support each other. We didn't have a, like uh, a, a lot of support yeah. from the outside. From the outside. In terms of, you know, our families were supportive in a way, but not in a way of understanding what it's like to be an entrepreneur. It's different. And, you know, they didn't have that background. And I say that with the biggest love and heart, they were supportive in other ways, but still like there were things that we bumped up against that we were like, oh, do they believe that we're going to really make this happen? <laughs> and they fluctuated and wobbled at times. But, um, but for the most part, you know, it's really been Ryan and I supporting each other back and forth with our various transitions in life. It's been really quite a journey. And honestly, We've done an amazing job of doing that, but sometimes it's a little rough. It's not always the easiest in the right. household. Yeah, no, it's that's true. It's it's not always like yeah, it's sunshine and rainbows. Not always sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> it's it's not. So yeah, today I turned in our 2022 tax information to our um, tax guy. I don't know if he considers himself an accountant. He's more of a, a tax dude. But we've been working with him for 13 years. And it's always amazing to sit and do that work and tally up the numbers and see how we've grown over the years. Yeah, right? that's the way you tally up how you've grown like mm-hmm. at the end of the year with tax. Yeah, when you actually look at it. <laughs> tax. <and> taxes. <laughs> taxes. <laughs> taxes. And looking at the income and looking at the expenses by category. And in our case, by you know different platforms that we have to pay for every month even <laughs> to that level of detail. And most people don't do not do that. They don't spend the time doing that. They just, you know, hand it off to somebody and, and close their eyes because they don't want to deal it, with it. But in terms of that, where it's going was being supportive even with all the dynamics that we need within the business. So if Ryan needs bait, like, I'm supportive of that. And I do that from an energetic standpoint. That's what I'm trying to get across. I do that from an energetic standpoint. And that's what's really important when you're supporting someone is to make sure your energy is in alignment with that support. That's how you become successful. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to be aligned with each other and on the same page. Um, Sometimes it takes a little bit of work. Um, but that's where you have to be. Yeah, and awareness, and awareness, and really realizing too that there's various aspects that not only we need for the business to run, such as bait, and sometimes those bait bills can be a little choking, like, okay, yep, okay, yep, I got it, and just really taking some time to understand, like, how am I being energetically when he tells me how much the bait's going to cost? Yeah, dumb. <laughs> I mean, everything's gone up. I mean, it's just, no, it's, yeah. a lot, like, a lot of people, like, the, the cost of running a sport fishing business is outrageous now. Well, when I looked present day. at all the details of taxes line by line, pretty much every single expense that we have went up this year. Every single expense. Yeah. Every single expense. Even if it was just $5, it went up. Like, every single thing. There was only a couple things that stayed constant. But for the most part, every single thing. Like, car insurance went up. Health insurance went up. Every single thing went up. So it's really important that when your spouse or your partner or your business partner or someone comes to you and you're having this conversation, that you're like calm about it. Your nervous system is calm because money is energy. It will come back and not freak out. Like you just can't freak out. You have to like make it just a calm part of how you're handling your business and your life. Yes. And you can't let it affect anything. You have to like roll with it. It's hard sometimes to, to it takes some work to manage that, but then I work on it every day. Mm-hmm. So, and your happiness is a huge piece of it too. So, we've had to get over 
the fact of like if Ryan wants to go fishing, let's say he doesn't have a charter and the weather's good and he wants to go fishing, I know that that's for mental health. So even if our finances are tight at the moment or, or whatever's going on, we have a lot of expenses coming up, I'm going to say yes to that. I'm going to say go for it because, again, energetically, it's just really important that he's in a good place and money comes and goes. Like, yes, we may be in a rebuilding stage, but I already know all the things that are happening this year. And I feel good about that. So he needs to feel good and go out and go fishing for the day. And there are spouses out there that are going to be like, no, you can't go. Or you need to cut that expense. Or you need to not spend on this or that. And honestly, if it's affecting that person's happiness, you're really making the situation worse. Makes it worse. You're not making it better. Makes it worse. Yeah, you can't be just like slashing expenses that are part of a person's happiness. What is your belief system? Where is your mindset? And, you know, what patterns and behaviors do you have to do some work around? And that's work. Yes, it is work. But those are some things to think about as you're having conversations. And especially now in this time, you know, a lot of people are using the R word, which I don't like. And, you know, looking at their lives and going, no, you can't go fishing or no, you need to cut this. And honestly, if it leads to someone's happiness and mental health, isn't that more important than the money? Like, don't you believe that the money will come back to you? Like, really do some work and th- have some thoughts around that. That's right. Yeah. Um, there's just some things I won't do away with. Yeah. So it's just I won't. Um, I've just learned that from the past. Like, is that some things you're like, oh, I'm going to cut this out. And then it's like, no, no, that's stupid. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah, and what's funny is that the sometimes, you know, people always use the Starbucks example. I think that's such a great example. Oh we, we don't drink Starbucks. Yeah, so we don't drink Starbucks. We're, we're, I'm just using this because this is the Starbucks example that's yeah. out there. But you'll hear of someone cutting maybe something from their business that is actually going to help their business move forward. And then if you ask them, oh, do you get Starbucks? They're like, yeah, I get a Starbucks. And what Starbucks now? I don't know. I'm guessing $9 for a drink. I have no idea. But let's say it's $9. So $9 times five to seven, you know, so they do that math. You've probably heard this on different coaching videos. Mm -hmm. I know I have many, many times. And And you're like, yeah, you're right. Like, oh my God, I'm cutting this thing from my business that's really going to help such as, you know, a course or a coaching program or attending something or advertising, marketing, any of those things. Those are things that are going to help you grow, but you're still spending money on Starbucks. Yeah. (laughs) It's funny. Let's say, for example, like I have things that... Or new clothes. Right. I have things that I subscribe to, okay? And that I I subscribe to them because uh, it's part of a routine to have coffee with, um, in the morning, look at this stuff. I enjoy studying um, satellite charts. I enjoy uh, reading certain things. Um, these are subscription services. And then I looked at some of the subscription services that I don't feel contribute to my, like, am I happy with it? Why am I getting them? Mm. And then they're actually kind of, they were kind of hurting me. So I like tossed a couple like magazines out. I was like, why am I getting these for? Yeah. Like why? I mean, I just opened it up and I was like, I read something about like, you know, Melinda and I went through something like, it's like everybody, like most families do nowadays um, with um, losing someone special to cancer. And when you open up a magazine and you read something about that and like, listen, I don't want to hear, I don't want to read it for something about it that has to do with a morning routine that I want to enjoy. When I open up something that says that kind of shit, it's gone. I just unsubscribe. Anything that doesn't have to do with my, like my mental health and how I want to live my life, um, I choose to subscribe to that stuff. I do it for a reason. Right. Well, you're choosing to be happy. I'm choosing so... to be happy. I'm choosing to be happy. Yeah. So I subscribe to certain things that make me happy. Mm-hmm. When they don't, I cut them. Yeah. Well, I think this topic is huge because so many people are consuming content that kind of puts you in the bucket of like misery loves company. And it's actually a huge trend on TikTok and Reels to watch, um, I know it's happening in the mom lane, like other moms complaining about this or that or relationships or toxicity. And instead of like realizing, okay, you don't 
you choose, you don't, you, you choose your happiness, right? So you don't have to listen to all that. So that's the same thing that Ryan's saying. Like he's choosing his happiness in the morning. And so he's eliminating, he's cutting the expenses of the things that don't lead him to happiness. Right. That's it. That's it. That's it in a nutshell. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Choose like, your happiness. Choose, choose your happiness. Choose your mental health state. Choose your happiness. And, you know, support each other in the in the process. And I think that that's amazing. I just left something that's a bigger topic. This could be like three podcasts of the reasons why I left this um, very small ticket. It wasn't a big ticket group, but same thing. Like it ended up being more of a distraction, let's say in simple terms, than leading to happiness. And I really don't think it is going to be business building. It was more like throwing spaghetti against the wall, right? So that got eliminated. So when you look at your expenses and your costs, like what is bringing you joy and moving you forward and what is just a distraction that's not necessary? Yeah, that's it. And takes you off your path. Yeah, whatever takes you off your path. And when something takes me off my path, I'm like, oh. Yeah. That that I was like, what's the word for it? Like I was choosing to do or had a subscription to when it takes me off my path, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. I'm out. Yeah, I remember that morning. You were like, oh, man, it, what a buzzkill, right? Like, yeah. everyone, like, when you think about the word buzzkill, like, I think that should be more of a of a word out there yeah. than all this other stuff that's floating around. Like, let's have conscious awareness around what's a buzzkill <laughs> versus right. Right. I don't like, know. all this other uh, shit. I don't know, man. I was like... <laughs> Turn it off. Stop yeah. scrolling. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Stop reading it. Uh. So, it's, it's very interesting as a certified energy practitioner, it's really just been an amazing experience how this energy work has just opened both of our eyes because now that I am attuned and certified to help others, not just myself, you know, it's something that really just opens up your intuition. It really just makes your, your brain like just be like clear, recognizing things. Um, it's, it's just so powerful and I'm just so excited that I'm able to share this energy with people. And if you're curious, you can definitely check out my website, even the YouTube video that Ryan just did as a testimonial about his headache. <laughs> like, I don't feel like I'm a quote unquote energy healer. That's not what I'm going for. I actually want to work more in the business sector with this because it's so needed for people to feel better and to amplify their businesses, to get unstuck, to move forward, less stress. I, I really feel that that's where I love helping people more, especially if you're in a corporate situation and you're dealing with toxicity or passive aggressive behavior. Hello, I've dealt with that many times. Oh my gosh. So is Ryan. I consider myself a certified expert in seen through toxic behavior yeah. i can see i can see it I, i'm so I well trained in, myself in that yeah i can smell somebody out oh my god <laughs> I, guess, Seriously. Like, I can see it i can see who it is i see who can I, just by when somebody direct messages me through instagram yeah i can Ryan's tell like i'm like now. dude i'm like like yeah we see you we see you if you knew what i've been through I can I can see you. Yeah, it's amazing. It's like it changes the lenses. That's the best way I can put it. It yeah. just changes the lenses and you just see through everything. Like you see if like someone makes a comment about something, it's like, okay, like what is that comment really stemming from? And then when you can reframe and shift your energy, then you're going to feel good in someone else's comments or their behavior or their energy they're tossing to you, like you just like can toss it right back, buddy. Like I'm yeah. I'm not taking this, yeah. right? <laughs> I'm like, you guys did, yeah, if you guys knew what I've been through, you guys, I'm the last guy you wanna be like. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's pretty amazing, guy. it's really powerful. I help both men and women. And um, yeah, you, you come to me, you schedule an appointment, it can be over Zoom two intentions and it's it's just really really powerful it's something that is becoming more and more popular more and more mainstream in terms of people that understand this and i'm gonna say yep there's gonna be some people that are like oh that girl's crazy and that's okay i don't care what you say 
because it works. So yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, it's not for <laughs> you. you don't, it's yeah. not for you if it's you don't you. if you don't believe. That's yeah. okay. Like no problem. Yeah. There are plenty of people that believe. Right. And more and more people are going. Gosh, you know, I don't want to be on meds. I don't mm-hmm. want to be taking certain drugs. I don't want to be drinking all the time. I want to get to a more holistic place where I trust my intuition and I feel really good and I'm able to, you know, work within my own system and, and, and figure things out and, and live a peaceful, happy, joyous life and in my business world too. So it's yep. just really, really cool. And it's included in my private coaching or you can do individual sessions and that is, um, you know, just some different options for that. So, but yeah. check out the YouTube video. We'll put the link in the show notes where Ryan speaks up about halfway through the YouTube video and gives his testimony. So. Yeah. One thing I want to say to the guys that are out there making a living doing this or want to make a living doing this, and you want to make a living doing it by yourself, there's a difference between a captain that sits up in a tower that doesn't have the distraction of a client in your ear. Okay. He's on the radio. He's up there by himself. So he's able to think a little bit better. But when you're like actually in the cockpit, doing everything which i do and if you've seen how i worked a cockpit by myself it's yeah so anyways i have to have a clear head and make decisions uh, on when i'm going to change and what i'm going to do and how i'm going to catch fish and there's days when the fish just bite and then there's days where i got to make some changes and the clients are like asking a bunch of questions and you're trying to think through it and yeah, man, I see it. That's where a lot of people, guys fail, is that they just crumble and then they go in and, and settle for the lesser fish. That's fine if you want to take the easy way out. But your client's going to remember a really nice fish. So you have to be able to like handle the stress of a, of a day. And there's just going to be days where you're just going to have to call it. And it's like, yeah, hey, you know, it is what it is. But those days are one out of every 500 for me now so um even more than that so but um there's just days where you're gonna have a headache like what happened to me the other day um last tuesday i had a major headache migraine heat i'm not sure what happened it was a the heat was nasty and i was able to function throughout my day and i put together a full table of giant mutton snappers up to 16 18 pounds limited out came back still put a smile on my face enjoyed my day but I, I crashed at the end of the day and I still had to teach. Right, so that's what the YouTube video is about. Yeah, so you have to check out the YouTube video. Right, right, so check out the YouTube video. Again, the link will be in the show notes and you'll hear Ryan, I put him on the spot. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm always good at that. I put him on the spot, which yeah. was actually really nice because I was like, I wonder what he's gonna like do. And he yeah. was really nice. My dry so, sense of humor. Yeah, I put him on the I have spot, a very dry which was great. Humor. And um, I just really appreciate too, and this was part of it, how supportive you've been, Ryan, with this with this journey of me getting into energy work. Yeah. And um, and how you've really embraced. The process too. I guess you're you're pretty pretty lucky. That yeah, I <laughs> you mean, can get regular energy sessions. I can get regular energy sessions, and it does really. It's honestly, um, I need it's and you know it just depends on how you want to live your life, and yeah, which is a choice. Which is a choice, and that's what it comes down to. Um, you may think you know, but do you really? So yeah. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, that's true. That's you, true. You have to be content with yourself. Um, and that's something I've had to work on over the years. And Everyone does. And everyone does. Everyone does. Everyone does. And everyone's at different levels, and that's yeah. okay. Yep. But you make a conscious decision. You make a choice. You know, Do you want to speed <clears throat> up your mm-hmm. progress in this lifetime? Or do you want to just sit and watch Netflix all day? Like you, you make that choice, right? You make that choice. How am I going to be? Am I going to practice self-awareness and get better? Or am I going to just be, you know, the grouchy old person that I've been like sitting in pain, wallowing in my sadness. My business is stuck. I hate my job. I hate my life. You know, all those things like you make that choice. Do you want to be there or do you want to like not be there? So we've made those conscious decisions to not be there. And then we've acted accordingly in making choices and decisions and supporting each other along the way in all those things, in our businesses and in, in our lives. Every day we go through the work. 
Yep. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every so, day. yeah. Yeah. So I think, I think that sums it up. So I just really felt that there's a lot of people out there that are struggling with lack of support, especially in marriages and partnerships. And so I just wanted to um, say, you know, it takes two to tango, have the conversations, build the awareness and start, you know, busting through that. And if you're interested in coaching and mentoring, just reach out to me and we can see if it's a good fit. Or if you're just interested in the high session and, and try that as well, then that's cool too. And what do you all have to say, yeah, Mr. Ryan? So, I know you've got a new blog that's yeah, amazing. Yeah, I've got a new blog out. Um, I talk, I'm talking about the sargasm weed that's out there right now. And um, at the end of the blog, I, I tell them I'm kind of shifting gears a little bit in my rigging cruise. Um, we're, um, I've, I've got some weedless ballyhoo rigs that I've been using for years and different rigs and um, that I have not shared, nor will I share them publicly, but I will be sharing them with my rigging crews only, along with um, satellite information I'll be sharing with them and when weed's moving in, when, when we, weed's moving out. I won't be sharing that publicly. Uh, so, yeah, if you'd like to um, sign up with, to the Good Karma Sport Fishing Rigging Crew 1 or 2, uh, you can email me at goodkarmaryan at gmail.com and there is a little bit of a screening process and I do not um, accept uh, charter boat captains or freelance mates. Yeah. Recreational fishermen only. Yeah. And just I'll give a quick snapshot in case you're new to this podcast. Rigging Crew One meets once a month on Zoom and there's a private community and it's $49 a month. And Rigging Crew Two meets twice a month on Zoom. The first is a teaching from Ryan. The second, two weeks later, is a Q&A, and that's $279 a month, or you can do, be in both one and crew for $299 a month, and there is a pay in full option where I think you save like 10% for a year. So that's the scoop. So yeah, we'll put all this information in the show notes. Thanks for tuning in, and yeah. You wrap it up, Mr. Ryan. Yeah. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And you can follow me on Instagram at goodkarmasportfishing underscore FL underscore keys. And check out my blog on goodkarmasportfishing.com. That's it. And if you'd like to book a trip, you can email me at goodkarmaryan at gmail.com. And remember, anytime you're fishing, it's all good. Thanks for listening.